good morning everybody and welcome to our Facebook live today my name's Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in the UK thank you for joining me I'm just going to move that there we go that's a little bit better thank you for joining me today it's a beautiful Monday morning here in the UK it's the 22nd of November already, um, hurtling through. And I decided to use a, a new to me stamp set, uh, Badger Besties. I purchased this just a little while ago and I haven't really had an opportunity to use it. And I thought we haven't done any animal based cards for a little while. Morning Kerry, or evening Kerry I should say. And so I thought I would use the Badger set today, just with some straightforward cards. Um, so as you can see, there are three Badgers on there, in fun poses. This one's got a little flower, this one is sort of dancing, celebrating, and this one is just standing there. And then you've got four sentiments, it's your turn to be celebrated, thanks for being you, happy day, and you're my bestie, which is obviously how they get the name of the stamp set. Morning, Moretta. So, um, I'm just going to be stamping these onto some die-cut pieces and then layering those up onto a card. Let me just pop this up on my phone so I can see your sentiments a bit easier and um, we will get cracking. So I hope everybody's had a nice weekend. Oops, turn that down. Morning, Jeanette. Um, okay, that's all seems to be working, which is good. So, so I hope everybody had a nice weekend. So I haven't used this set yet as you can see complete with the labels on the back so I'm just going to pop these three out and I'm just going to use um, probably two of the images and I haven't really decided whether to colour them in with um, smoky slate or I've got grey granite um, and let's do it's your turn no do happy day that I could that can be a birthday for example so I'm just going to pop these on really quickly so I'm glad you had a good weekend so I'm just going to take these labels off two three and I'm expecting um, two deliveries today and what's the betting <laughs> they'll turn up while I'm live on air who knows who knows? Right, this is the one with the. Let's move these out of the way. We need quite that many. <laughs> I just grabbed them out of my um, collection. So, glasses off. So, all I do is I take the backing off here, peel off half of the label, just relax the stamp onto there like so and then just peel off the other half and again just let that relax down you don't want to create any tension on the back of the stamp or it can make the stamp go a little bit um, where's the other one gone <laughs> okay so I've got oh um, I've got three stumps out and now I can only see two. Oh dear. It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? So I'm busy prepping for our class in a box and our card class tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to seeing um, some of you tomorrow. It's in my die cuts. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad somebody was watching. 
I, would, I don't think I would have spotted those, other than the fact that was the only other thing I'd moved, wasn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Kerry. Okay, so those are the three, and then I've got this one, this is Happy Day. So you could use that for anything, couldn't you? Let's pop that one on. I meant to do this last night. I completely forgot. I've got the stamp set out ready. <laughs> okay, let's put this in there and I'll put the other ones on shortly. Okay. So, I'm just going to mount these up. I don't know which ones I'm going to use just yet. I'll just scrub that on my chamois just to take off any stickiness oops sorry that's um making the camera wobble there we go okay so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do one with basic gray and one with grey granite and then we can decide so this is for the outline and then we can decide which one we like best um, with the um, colouring so it doesn't really matter which ones of these we use I'll use two the same so let's do basic grey first To this one with the little flower <laughs> all right I've just got a spare piece of card here that I want to stamp this onto first fine so that is a basic grey I'm just going to literally put one on each although I could actually you could do together as a quite a nice sort of anniversary card I don't know if it'll fit on that one let's just try change of plan okay I'll lift this up to the camera in a second so you can see it a little bit better thinking that one there and then this one here go so I've got those two there so I was thinking that would make a nice um, anniversary card one badger with the um, flower and then one here and then this one so maybe I need the other one on its own just so we've got one of each which is this one here with our hands crossed. Well, we've got some lovely sunshine, but it was a very cold first thing this morning. But to be expected, considering it is November. Okay. 
I'm going to stamp this again onto here. Yep. Like so. And I might. But thanks for being you, Anthony. You're my bestie. Although I haven't labelled them up. I'll just take a risk. what I've got you're my bestie there it is. so I'm just going to see how that stamps slightly down on the right Thanks for being you. So straightforward stamping and colouring to get us cracking today. There we are. You can see that all right. So colouring wise, I've got a set of light and dark smoky slate. So there's the dark, this is the light. So let's try this one first. So as I remember it, the dark goes all the way around and it's this bit here that is white. So what I'm going to do is use some of the dark around the edges. So that sort of feathering motion. This is a brand new dark smoky slate. Because I couldn't locate my open one. I looked all the way through. I'll probably find it now, of course. <laughs> so you do buy these in pairs. So I have got another... A matching light one and I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow underneath where his or her paws are and a bit of shadow underneath here like so and I guess Right, and then this is Light Smoky Slate. So I'm just using that circular motion as you can see. And just going over that um, edge between the two. So, you could use the wider tip end for this large area if you wanted to. I tend to, and this is a really big area, I still tend to use the smaller bullet tip. Just my preference. A lot of people do it the other way around and use the, the large tip most of the time. 
that's the nice thing about colouring in is you just do it the way that suits you best. Okay, do a little bit of the tail. Like so. And then this piece of the head here. And then there's this tiny sliver at the back. I'm only going to do part of that, and I've knocked a stamp off, I can see that. And a little bit there. And I might use a little bit of black pen for the nose. There we go, cut that stamp. Before I forget it, so this is light um, smoky slate. Bit on that back like so so I'm just going to do a little bit more blending And then what I might do is come in with the colour lifter and just lift a little bit of colour out of his or her tummy. So here's the colour lifter. Now you could, if you wanted to, just do little brush strokes to mimic the um, fur of a badger because they have really coarse hair. So if you wanted to, rather than a sort of swirling motion, you could use much more of a um, that sort of motion <laughs> where you're drawing lines to imitate the um, fur. Okay, needs something to be standing on, so let's grab a bit of, I've got light gray granite here, like so. And I think a bit of blue in the eye That one. There we go. That doesn't want to play ball. Let's use dark balmy blue. Don't really know what colour Badger's eyes are. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a this is just a uniball marker pen for the nose there we go if you can see that okay actually I might do a little bit in the centre of the eye as well morning Sylvia I hope you're well so there is one so that was smoky slate so I'm going to do a set in grey granite, so I've got a light and dark, let me move the smoky slate out of the way, put it back on my tray and see which one we prefer and obviously I've got the flower here as well, let's do the flower in polished pink. 
So I say, design this with the two as an anniversary card. But it could be a birthday card, of course. There's a little bit of, there's a tiny little leaf on there. So just use that. A little bit of granny apple green in there. So this time I'm going to use grey granite. So I've got a light and a dark. And let's see which one we prefer. So there are some markings here that give you a good indication of where either the darker colour needs to go or you could use some sort of pointed um, brush strokes here and here and on his tummy. Um, so what have I got dark here? So And there's a little bit on the tail as well. So use the markers that Stamping Up designers have added for you. Makes life a lot easier. Go. So I'm just doing it round the edge a little bit and where there would be shading. I'm going to do one then the other. So when you are working with alcohol markers, because the ink, the alcohol evaporates and leaves the ink on the paper, you're best off doing small areas at a time so that you get the best um, blending. If you leave it too long, it's, um, it's not as effective with your blending. Okay, so this is light grey granite. So I'm using a circular motion over there. Just to blend that in. I hope you've got nice weather where you are, Sylvia. It's certainly lovely here in Northamptonshire. Morning, Louise. Hope you're okay, darling. So, just taking this down so I've got a small light patch for his tummy like so or her tummy so this bit is white this bit is grey on the face let's lift that up you can see that one and then we'll do the same with this one so this is grey granite and this is Smoky slate. I have to think about that. So we'll decide which ones we like. So I want dark grey granite. So this bit's being left white. So I'm just going to bring this in like so. Mm -hmm. So I say, looking forward to class tomorrow. Can't believe then we've only got one more class before Christmas. It's unreal, isn't it? Hi, Jane. Thanks for watching. I hope you're keeping well. So that's the dark grey granite. Let's bring that round here and a little bit underneath here where that back leg is like 
so and then I'm going to use the light oh beautifully sunny oh that's what we like to hear so this is the brush tip so just to show you as it's a bigger area I'm going to use that now I find the brush tip will run out or dry out quicker because you've got obviously much more exposure to the air but it's good as you can see for a larger area and then you can go back in and add more detail so I'm now going to use the light one to go over with the bullet tip Squeeze that round there. Okay. And then we've got the head here. So quite a small area to work in here. Oh, I nearly did that bit at the back then. That's close. Okay, so I think I'm preferring the um, grey granite to the smoky slate, but badges are quite dark, so it depends on how true we want to be but then it is a card and there is artistic license no doubt if you gave this to children they would have you know pink badges and blue badges and why not okay so for any local people i'm at um crowton christmas fair this coming sunday and i will have with me our stamping up kits and also I'll be selling some of the handmade cards that I've made this year so ones that you'll have seen done live or in classes okay just going to add a little bit more definition here so this one as I said would be a great little anniversary card I think Okay, let's add a little bit of ground. Oh, very rough night. Oh gosh, what with wind, I'm presuming. It's dark. I wanted the light. Never mind. Go. and I might add a little bit of sky let's add a little bit of black on these noses just to make them nice and con a nice contrast and I'm going to dot this eye like so there we are Oh, strong winds of rain oh my goodness i think we, it was quite windy here but I'd, well we might have had rain if we did sylvia i don't know anything <laughs> i missed it completely right i have a blue blending brush and i suspect it's already got some blue on it because this is ready for this afternoon's coffee and card <coughs> and we use this on Friday for our Christmas cards at Coffee and Card Brackley so it was lovely okay so this all this does is just take the edge off the blandness of that white background sometimes it's really stunning to have a white background but if you've got characters or a scene 
I like to just add, and it is only a hint, I'm not even sure that you can see that, I can see it. If I put it next to that, maybe you can. Hmm, I'm not sure you can, but like so. And let's do the same with this chappy here. So the secret with the blending brushes is the higher and closer to the head you are, the more um, the deeper the colour will be. The further to the handle you are, obviously the lighter because you've got less pressure. So if you tend to be heavy handed, then start off at the end of the brush. And then you can work towards the middle as the um, as you remove some of the ink. And definitely less is more. Build it up slowly. And then you get a really nice soft effect. Unless you're looking for a dramatic background, in which case you go to Heart's Delight. Okay. So I've just got a little bit of blue around there. And I think what I might do is... I've got a green here. Just going to put a little bit of this on the bottom. Like so. As long as your ink is dry, it's not going to run that ink anywhere. And all of our basic stamping up classic ink pads so these ones here that have the word classic on uh, they will all dry um, very quickly on your standard stamping card they will take longer to dry on a non-porous surface so if you've got like a glossy card or vellum or something like that um, you will need to leave either leave it longer to dry or use a heat tool or something just to dry it off okay so there's my blue and green background on there i'm hoping you can see that like anything it's different in real life isn't it <laughs> sometimes i look at it and i think do you know it looked better on the camera <laughs> and other times I think it looked better in real life and I have no idea why it would be like that okay I'm just going to run that little bit of green and literally there's hardly anything on here but it's enough oh there's my EPS parcel perfectly timed because that's the last of my class items I hope Thank you. <laughs> there we go. So there's my little two badgers together and one badger. Right. Okay. I'm just going to put those back ready for copying card. So I'm just going to mount these up. So I'm thinking. Um. I just want a bit of colour behind these, a little bit of interest. So let's see if I can find some patterned paper to go behind um, that would match. So I know what I'd like to use. And that's a little bit of this um, paper here. This is the paper that we're using at class. Either of those would work. I've got a smaller piece, it looks like it. That would also work. I think you could put anything behind this, to be honest. That's quite nice. 
and we've got some ombre that works as well doesn't it if it needs a bit of depth of color behind it i think it may be something even blue have a look. Let's see what I've got here. Oop. That works quite nicely. So this is from our colour collection. So those are in colours. So this, funny enough, is polished pink. That would pick out that pink after all that. It's quite nice. So I could either have a complete panel or part. Let's have a look. Right. Um, okay, let's cut stand a piece of white card down. That's really a layer of grey would look nice too, wouldn't it? Too much choice. Okay, let me see. I'm going to score this at fourteen point eight five. And cut at ten and a half centimeters. So this is for obviously for UK sized A6 cards. Okay. So what I'm thinking is a little bit of the pink and a little bit of smoky slate. And then it's going to tie those in together. So, do smoky slate onto pink, onto white, like so, or smoky slate, sorry, polished pink onto smoky slate. I think I'm going to do it like that. Okay, let's pop that one away. Let's just cut these layers. So this measures eleven and a half centimeters. by eight so I'm going to cut this 12 by eight and a half so I've just got a little border all the way around that and then this is going to be my standard layer from a card, so 10 centimetres by 13.85. Let's have a 
have a look at that. So that layer, like that. So I've got more of the grey showing, like that. Yep, that would definitely work. So I'm going to put this this on dimensionals onto my pink and then the pink I'm going to do flat because it's paper rather than card I don't want the paper on dimensionals there we go Layering that onto there. And then onto there and onto the card. There we go. So straightforward for a Monday morning, although I seem to have been here a long time. Let's have a look. And I've left sentiment off here because you could then use that for um, wedding and engagement um, anything you want it to be really the happy I could have put the happy day on the outside that would have worked wouldn't it but I didn't leave much space for my sentiment so, and I can just see edge on there there's Cassie waiting to go out okay so there's that one and then let's finish this one off so I think I'm just going to put that straight onto there onto a white card not going to add any layers because this is quite dark So I'm just going to do this at 10 by 14.35. Like so. And I'll use this card here. I know it's a top fold card, but that's okay. Just grab a bone folder. So the secret to keeping a top fold card nice and secure when it's standing up is a nice is a proper fold with a bone folder or use the edge of a block. Okay. If you don't score it um really tightly, this tends to sort of flap out like that. Okay, but if you do a nice score line, it'll it'll hold it its position on there perfectly. Let's just pop this one on, and we're done without me having to break to let Cassie out. There we go. So really simple card today, just showcasing the Badger Bestie stamp set. And I have used all three badges, the one standing on their own, and then these two here that I've put together. 
just pop this up on dimensionals that I've now put somewhere. Here they are. And we're done for today. So I will be back again tomorrow, that's Tuesday at 7 p.m. So I hope you're able to join me. As I say, if you're local, um, then I'm at the craft fair at Crowton, that's C R O U G H T O N, on Sunday. And a date for your diary, which I was incorrect last week, is Saturday the 4th of December. Sorry, I'm just using up those pieces, in case you're wondering why I'm overdoing it. Um, Saturday the 4th of December, 10 till 12. I have my buy one get one free sale in Evenly, which is near Brackley. So you can buy any of my retired stock. And that excludes the current Christmas catalogue because that's not obviously not retired yet. Um, and then you can choose anything from the current two catalogues for free. Thank you, Jeanette see you tomorrow afternoon look forward to that so there we go that is our little badger on his own says you're my bestie thanks for being you and then our two little badgers here right time to make a cup of coffee get cracking finishing my um class in the box um packets so thank you for joining me today i hope everybody has a good day or a good evening ahead or a good night if you're in australia and uh, thank you for joining me do take care and look after yourselves look after your loved ones thanks so much for watching today and i will be back again tomorrow thank you bye bye